So we're going to see how we can write our first n unit test in just a moment, but let's first consider some factors that contribute to making a good test. So first off, each individual test should be independent and isolated from all of the other tests. If we have two tests, A and B, if test A runs and then test B runs, we should get the same result as if the order was reversed. If test B runs first and then test A runs, we should still get the same results for each test. So in this way, the tests should be independent of each other, they should be able to be run in isolation or with a whole host of other tests and still get the same results. Each test should test a single behaviour or a single logical aspect of the system that we're testing. So it's okay to have multiple assert statements in a single test as long as they're related to testing the single logical behaviour. So for example, in a single test for our calculator, we wouldn't have both the multiplication and addition being asserted on. Just as with production code, the intent of this test should be clear to the reader. So we shouldn't have large sprawling test methods that are hard to read and hard to understand what the actual thing is we're testing. We don't want to test the compiler. So for example, if we're using C Sharp's auto implemented properties, we don't need to test that the property set and the property get is working correctly. The setting and getting for the values of our auto implemented property are handled by the compiler, so we don't need to test these. If on the other hand we're not using auto implemented properties and we've got some code in our get or set, then this is something that we probably should test. A good test is reliable and repeatable. It's reliable because we should always trust the output of the test. We shouldn't be second guessing it. Good tests should also be repeatable. That means they should produce the same result given the same set of circumstances every single time. If the code base hasn't changed and a test sometimes passes and fails, then it's neither reliable nor repeatable. And as we alluded to, test code should be of equal quality as our production code. So we should apply all of the same techniques that we use in production code to our test code. Overall, tests should be valuable to the development team. We should always make sure that we get some benefit from the effort that we put into writing automated tests.